everyone, it's Sharonda from Payer Waits, and today I'm going to be reviewing American Horror Stories Season 2, Episode 3, Drive. Y'all, this episode was trash. Like, I'm not even going to sugarcoat this for y'all. I'm not even going to sit up here and lie about it. I'm not going to try to be cute about it. I'm not going to make no excuses about it. Oh. Like, uh, you normally give us at least, like, a good four episodes before we start making a turn for the worst but like you only gave us two episodes it's a third episode and you gave us the trash i'm just like like sometimes i feel like do you think they'd be trolling us like do you just take our kindness for weakness like do you feel like these hoes ain't going nowhere they've been sitting here with us for all these years it don't matter if we get them trash like let's trick them let's make them think we're gonna get a good season and then let's come back with the same trash that we had in the first season i'm tired I'm not doing this this year. I'm not doing this this season. You got two more episodes. After two more episodes, if it's a mess, I'm out. I'm not doing this no more, okay? Because the way that I suffered, the way that it took me three hours to watch this episode, it took me three hours. I'm not even going to let it out. It took me three hours to watch a 45-minute episode. Like, really, let's, like, like, let's, let's really break that down. Three hours for 45 minutes, Okay. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I'm not even done. Let me, I can't even get into the recap yet. Also, too, stop putting Bella Thorne in your stuff. It's like, she wasn't giving what it needs to be giving. Nothing. It was giving me no. It was giving me why. Like, you, like, I see a trend when you use the OG people, when you have the OG people and you want to throw some, like, new people with the OG people, that's fine. Okay, fine. At least we know that we're going to have one person that's going to be good enough to watch, okay? But this, it was a hot mess. Baby, in the beginning, so we see, we're introduced to Marcy. So Marcy meets this dude, Wyatt. Now, Wyatt was cute, but like that pickup line, baby, you could not have got any nani out of me with that pickup line. So he had no game, but clearly... Marcy was just trying to get her now, her walls uh, broke down. So do do whatever you got to do, Marcy, okay? We we didn't took one for the team just to, you know, dust the cobwebs off, all right? But if my parents are watching, I'm a virgin. I'm just saying what I've heard from other people tell me, not my own personal experiences, because I have none. But um, they start dancing in the club, but I was like, hold on, like, are they dancing? Or is this foreplay? Because it looked like they was going to just get it all in the club. But then they start banging like jackrabbits in the car, and I was just like, Marcy, you needed this bad? For someone you don't even know if it's gonna be good. But the way that Wyatt started feeling himself a little bit too much, also too, side note, you know, just not from my own personal experience, from other people's experiences, why do people wanna lay on you with their sweaty body all heavy and stuff afterwards? Like, get off of me, you're sweaty, mm, all right? Just speaking from other people's experiences, but Wyatt, sweetie, you thought your pain was that good to talk about, oh, is this the part where you asked me for my number? Sir, if I'm smashing you in my quad, I'm not calling you ever again. Now, if it was some good pee pain, then fine. I'll call you a few more times, but this is never gonna be anything serious if I'm smashing you in the back seat of a car. It's just not. Like, Wyatt was feeling himself just way too much, and I was like, sir, the audacity of you to say these things. So I was happy when she said, boy, if you don't get the hell up out of my car and stop, just get out, okay? So, we see that she starts driving and then this person like flashing their lights and stuff and then starts hitting their car and i'm just like okay so sis you had a million times like this episode shouldn't be called drive it should have been like call 911 okay someone please call 911 okay i'm sorry but we see that you know she's driving trying to get away and i'm just like why is this girl not calling the cops she didn't duck in the dodge after this person to hit the hit her twice she didn't hit in the car wash. I was like, is that the Euphoria car wash? But she hid in the car wash, and so she go back home. And I was like, she starts talking to what I thought was her brother, Chaz. <laughs> her and Chaz having this conversation. I'm just like, girl, why your brother in your business like this? But then when I realized that that's not her boyfriend and that's her husband, I said, now, Marcy, this why you getting your walls knocked down in a dang old car? This your husband, sis? I thought this was, I thought that was her brother. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I really thought Chaz was her brother. I was like, 
when when they literally alluded to the fact that they were married, I said, "Huh?" That's that's the first time I paused it. Okay, I had to pause it after that because I said, "Huh?" On now, wait a minute. This whole the dialogue was just it was just terrible. It was just so bad. I was like, "Were y'all like in a rush to film this?" Because I was just like, "This dialogue is very cringy. The acting is very cringy. I can't even believe that they're like not brother and sister. That they're actually husband and wife. And then you're telling me that like Chaz is okay with this open relationship." Piper did have a good point. Like, no, man. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Men are not okay with sharing their things, okay? They're just not, okay? They think it's cool at first, and then they're like, hold on, she getting her back broke broke out? Like, they breaking it out better than I do? It just never works. But this is when I was like, after that scene with her and Chaz and realizing that's her husband and not her brother, I was like... This is going to be a terrible episode. And then I paused it to see how much time we had left. And I was like, yes, there's like literally the whole episode left. I know this episode is about to be terrible, but I I pushed through to torture myself even more. So um, we see that she sleep and then she hears a noise. It's three o'clock in the morning. So she hears a noise and she decides to go investigate by herself. This was another red flag. I said, Marcy. Now, granted, where we know, if I knew then what I know now, I can see why Marcy was making all these dumb choices. Um, but Marcy went to go investigate the noise, but nothing was there. She saw Chaz. I don't know what Chaz is going to do, but I was just like, why are we walking down into a cellar by ourselves? It was just, it was just, it, was, it really had me on edge, y'all. Like, it truly had me on edge. So... You know, we're getting this backstory about how Piper tells this urban legend about, you know, this guy who used to hide out of people's cars and, like, kill them. Um, and we're seeing that they think it's a serial killer on the loose that are still in, like, basically people are disappearing outside of clubs. So Piper's concerned for her safety. And I was like, Piper, you need to be concerned about her marriage and tell her to go ahead and get a divorce because, like, there's no way that she likes Chaz. And then I'm really trying to figure out the whole time because I know this is about to, like, this is supposed to be something deeper. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, does Chaz have the money? Does Marcy have the money? Like, what's going on? Like, we see that she has a birthmark on her face. So, you know, Piper thinks that she's being a little thotty thought because, you know, people made fun of her and stuff. And so she's trying to get her thotty thought years back. And I'm like, if she want to be a thot, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Like, if she feel like she didn't, she needs to get more out of her system, baby, do what you gotta do. But, um, I did think it was dumb to be doing all this if a serial killer is, like, out there. But technically, she did listen to Piper's advice and said she wouldn't be smashing no other guys in the car. But then she was smashing a girl in the car. And then I was, I thought this was a part of the act. Like, I thought she was gonna have Piper show up like an angry girlfriend. So the girl would have to get out of her car. I didn't know that Piper was, like, actually upset. I was just like, sis. Why are you going to the club with her anyway? Like, it's a serial killer on the loose. Like, I don't even understand why you was hanging out with her in the first place. It just didn't make sense to me whatsoever. But um, we see that when Piper is leaving, Piper, when Macy is leaving, Marcy is leaving, she ends up seeing a guy's car, the Jeep, that hit her. And so I was like, oh, snap. Like, she didn't found a serial killer. So then we see him coming out with this girl. And so... You know, Marcy struggles to walk back to her car because I was like, Marcy, you cannot walk on them hills, baby. Just give them up. I gave up hills and I've been a better person because of it. It happens to the best of us. She was struggle, struggle walking, okay? So she decides she's going to be a detective and start following this fool. I said, girl, with these bright ass lights that you got, she followed this fool. She got the uh, license plate and stuff, but I was just like, girl... What are you doing? And I saw that the guy saw that he was following, that she was following him. So I'm just like, what is happening right now? Why are we still not called the cops? So she go home. She's trying to be Captain Detective, uh, Detective Pikachu, and searching for the license plate. Then she gets a name. Meanwhile, Chaz, her brother, has finally decided that, like, Chaz was never okay with this open relationship. And basically, Chaz once said that, you know, he gonna move out. Baby girl wasn't even listening to him. He just walked off. I was just like, honey, that is really sad that your wife is more focused on finding a serial killer than wanting to save her marriage. Just go ahead and send the divorce papers, okay? Because it's not gonna work out. So, we see that Marcy continues to be dumb and she ends up finding a picture of the guy. She finds out where he works and instead of calling the police, we just show up to the job. And he was being super creepy when he was talking about the knives and stuff. And then this girl followed this man home after work. I said, honey, the whole time I was just like, there were so many times that we could have called the police. And this is probably another time when I just paused it because I was just like, 
but why are we making these terrible decisions right now? I was just, I was truly confused by all of this. I was already confused about you letting your husband move out when it's a serial killer and you want to go be a thotty thotty and go to the club still. So it just didn't make no sense to me. Also too, another point where I paused and I totally forgot about this is I paused when I realized that Chaz was at the club stalking his wife trying to act like he wasn't stalking his wife i had to pause after that too because that whole exchange between them once again i was just like they're literally brother and sister like there's no way like i thought the plot twist was gonna be they were brother and sister but that never happened they were just really married the entire time so joke was still on me for this whole episode so long story short the girl ended up being still stupid she breaks into the dude's house she see the newspaper clip clippings and missing people like she hiding under a desk because like she just clearly never thought this plan through. So I'm like, what is going on with her? So what killed me is when he leaves, she started thunking like thump, stomp, stomp. I said, bitch, he probably still, he, he, why are you stomping so loud? Why are you stomping so loud after breaking into somebody's house? Like, why are you, why are you so dumb? So then like, you know, he like, ah. I got your hoe. He didn't say that, but I'm, that's what he should have said. He had the bat. She got a knife. I said, bitch, what? What you finna do with a knife to his bat, honey? What are you gonna do with the knife to his bat? Okay? But then we see that, you know, he actually was like the good Samaritan. He was like trying to warn her, like, hey ho, I saw somebody in the back of your car. I'm trying to make sure you didn't get you didn't get murked because you too dumb to pull over and see what I'm trying to tell you to do. So they having this whole back and forth and then she started trying to like flirt with him. I said, hold on, ho. You flirting with the dude that you just thought was a serial killer like literally two seconds ago and now you flirting with him and you trying to get your, your walls broke down again? Have it make sense. So she ends up stabbing him, okay? With this, stabbing him with something. I was like, oh, snap this girl, the damn killer. Then he started choking the hell out of her. I was like, choke. I was like, get her, Jade. And so I don't condone violence, y'all. But in this case, I condone violence. So he was choking her. I was like, get her. And then all of a sudden, I was like, but that medicine gonna have to kick in soon. Then we see the husband hit him with a bat. I said, oh, hell. So both of these people, the killers, like, what is going on right now? So, child, long story short, she the killer. And maybe the open relationship isn't necessarily just her smash up. I, I don't know. Yeah, actually, I'm not even trying to, I'm not even gonna use my brain cells to break this down any further. I'm not gonna read any deeper into stuff. Long story short, the girl had a birthmark on her face, so people used to bully her. So basically, she was smashing and murking the people who reminded her of her bullies or whatnot. And like, that's really it. Like, her husband would clean the stuff up for her. Like, I'm, like, even telling y'all this story is just so dumb. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. And like, even with her torturing him, and then she was like, wait, wait right there. I did thought it was cute how she was like, wait right there. She like stabbed him in his head. She gonna go upstairs like, Chaz, I wanna be with you. I don't want you to leave. You can do it with me. We can kill people together, Chaz. And it was just, it was just like, literally I was like vomiting, okay? If I had any vomit left to come out of my body after this week of having food poisoning, like that's what I would be doing. But I, just don't understand why this episode was made. Like, I, Manny, Manny, I gave you kudos for the first two episodes, so you're going to have to take this tough love real quick. Oh, also, too, at the end, they said they're going to kill people together. Of course, they was going to kill Piper, because I was like, girl, you was doing too much anyway. I don't even know why you was friends with somebody doing all this mess in the first place. So that's on you, boo. Sorry. R.I.P. to Piper. But, Manny, you got off to a really good start. You had a great start. You had two good episodes, okay? Good twist at the end. I was like, hey, you did the whole Thanos thing at the end of episode two, but I wasn't going to hold it against you. But this right here, y'all, you got to have good casting. Your cast is going to sell it before the story anyway. These actors were just not good. I'm sorry. This just wasn't their cup of tea. I'm not going to say they're terrible actors, but in this episode, they were. But this just wasn't their cup of tea, okay? Don't do this again. Stop casting her for your stuff. Okay, just stop because I've yet to see it. I've yet to see her in the episode of something American Horror Stories that was good. Okay, just please just take this free advice. You don't even got to pay me. You don't even have to pay me. But I know what you couldn't do is pay me to watch that episode again. Okay, so yeah, this is a, a zero out of 10. Okay, if I could give it zero stars, that's what I would give it because it wasn't giving me anything. So yeah, y'all got two more episodes. You got two more episodes. If these next two episodes not good out of there out of there okay because this is trash this was what it was last season and this is why i stopped watching last season okay so yeah 
that's my recap, which I'm mad I even recapped this. I'm mad I even watched it in the first place. I really should send y'all a check to give me money for my time that I wasted, the three hours that it took me to get through this 45 minute episode in the first place. You should be ashamed of yourselves. But <clears throat> let me know in the comment section below. What did you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Am I tripping? Or do you agree with me? If you liked it, I'm happy for you, okay? But I did not like this episode not one bit, okay? So those are my thoughts on what is baby i'm so mad about watching this episode i can't even do the outro right how do i do an outro so those are my thoughts on american horror story season two episode three drive trash as always my name is sharonda from pair ways and if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure you hit that notification bell and i love you guys 3000 and until i see you again bye